What's up everybody? Welcome to another video of Springsteen Pops on Springsteen TV. It's hunting time, so let's go ahead and get into it. There's not really a plan for today's hunt. Uh, we're just going to be kind of winging it. Right now we're parked in front of a Hot Topic. We're going to go in here and, and uh, see what they got. While I was sitting here, I got a notification uh, from a group I'm in on Facebook that says a unicorn came out from a new Disney Pixar movie. So maybe they'll have that. Um, today I'm going to be looking for more uh, like the rare exclusives or vaulted pops. You know, we don't have a plan on where we're going. We're just going to be stopping at random places. So. Let's see what today brings us. All right, so we're here. Just waiting a couple more minutes. All right, so here at the Funko Hall, they did have the chase I was looking for. They got a sick one right behind it. Uh, I do like these. These look pretty cool. We got the Venomized Captain Marvel, the Groot, Doctor Strange, Punisher. This one's really sweet. And they got the Ultron. I want to get these, but I kind of want to wait. Uh, do you want that? Don't know if I'll get it today. This I'm for sure getting. Let's see what else. Let's see if I'm going to chase chips. Yes. Let's go ahead and put these back. Sweet. They're the same all the way back, Steve. Uh, I found the Chase Chubbs. Sorry? He was in the back of the regular Chubbs. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry about that. I didn't put those out. Okay, so after glancing at everything else, there's not really anything else new that we need. I mean, they got a few things. All the discount ones down there. But, uh,. I think we're gonna get these two and get out of here. So successful hunt and Hot Topic. So excited to find those. Uh, we're gonna go over them when we get home, but for now, let's go to the next spot. All right, so we are now in Oklahoma City. This store right behind me is called Stranger Games. We're gonna go inside and check it out and see what we can find. All right, so here we are in Stranger Games in Oklahoma City. I highly recommend checking this place out. I just came in, but the uh, the guy working the store is super friendly. And look, let me back up a little. Just look at this. That wall. They're over there. Different figures over there. Looks like we got some Detolfs. What we got in here? Looks like some Nintendo <laughs> figures, Star Trek. That's the one. Though. Yeah, Witcher. Little plushes. That looks cool. That looks really awesome. In the Han Solo. <laughs> See, he said up here is more animation. Down here is like your, uh, I believe, Marvel video games, movies, television, Star Wars. I'll show you the rest when we get down there. There's so, so many. He's also got $10 mystery boxes. I'm probably gonna get a couple of those. Just watched a little girl pull a uh, glow in the dark chase Frodo <laughs> from the mystery boxes. So I think I'm gonna have to get one or two. Get down here. Looks like these are the DC's, uh, maybe movie moments. And down there it looks like sports. Or miscellaneous? Yeah, I think it's miscellaneous. I see WWE, <laughs> NFL, Rock. Uh, yeah, I think it's just kind of mixed in. Some two packs and the six inch pops. I know. This one looks legit. 
What's this Goro box look? I need a new Goro box. It's like, oh, it looks like somebody got a box blade slash on that one. Dang it. Oh, that's cool. This was, this is heavy. Whatever the hunter is. I'm gonna uh, start digging through this, and I will show you some more in just a second. What was your information on this, Bob? So those were given to uh, hot, uh, highest performing hot topic stores of mm -hmm. that year. Um, I think like 2016. Yeah, I'll take it. Take it out and get a better shot of it if you want. Okay. The top performing yeah, hot topic stores. Yeah. Yeah, knows his stuff. <laughs> Yeah, the box has been swapped on it, uh, but uh, it took me about two weeks to uh, make sure it was legit. I had to find other owners of that pop, and they're very hard to find. <laughs> it's a bear. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I could imagine. <laughs> here you go. Could take a peek around here. Oh, for sure. Ten dollar mystery boxes. The top top uh, pops in those are horror themed. Probably gonna have to pick up one or two. I'm a sucker for the horror pops. <laughs> Got some big pins up here. Yeah, this this store is really. I love it. I mean. <laughs> Pop is. Here was the more higher end in chase pops. Get you a good shot of those. I like that Sheldon Cooper down there. Sheldon's nice. Was that not the San Diego Comic Con exclusive one? Uh, for the show. It didn't have a sticker on it, but or did I that was that separate? I think the con one is fading. I think that one's just the normal one. Oh, so, okay. This table right here was for pops being donated to the children's hospital. It's pretty sweet. Uh, people bring in their pops. He takes them to, you said the- The local the, children's hospital. The local Foundation, children. Yeah. It's a program I do through, uh, it's another program called Pops for Patients out mm -hmm. of Tennessee. Uh, I'm basically kind of the Oklahoma uh, drop off point for that. Sweet. That is awesome. So anybody in the Oklahoma City area can come here to Stranger Games and drop off your pops. Have them donated. Some kid is super lucky to get that one. <laughs> <laughs> People bring some good ones. Come across these. Got that 9 inch Buzz Lightyear. Box is a little damaged but that's still a great price for that. Got the Maleficent. Mm -hmm. One of the Mickey Mouses. Toucan Sam, everybody loved before the metallic came out. Steamboat Willie. It's got some really good pops. Also, this uh, awesome Ninja Turtle playset. <laughs> see some of this. See the binocular action coming out of there? I don't know what it's called. Binoculars? Here. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Folds that into the computer over here. This is a child's dream. <laughs> Tip that over. Sounds like it's your dream. I know, right? It's more <laughs> my dream than it is a child's dream. It's more of your Game of Thrones pops. Some loose ones. Those mystery boxes again. <laughs> I think I think that's what I'm probably gonna buy, just mystery boxes. I'll come back another day and dig through the pops, but I thought this was cool too. Jurassic Park. How do you? Is there dinosaurs that come with it, or are all the dinosaurs over uh, there? Yeah, the all the dinosaurs are in the case there. Got it. Yeah. I thought this was pretty cool. That's an awesome piece you got in there. And you said you're selling that for somebody? Yeah, so it's on consignment, which is basically I'm selling for someone, and I take part of the cut. <laughs> Those. 
well, it's got plenty to look through if you ever want to come down and check it out. That was actually like the one he was hoping to get to. Oh, that really? Yeah. That He's is a big war collector as well. That's the one you want. So the leather face is still in there? Uh leather face at least there's been a couple that haven't been opened here, so it should still be in here somewhere, but <laughs> Oh, so there's a chance. There's a chance, yeah. Okay. I'd be stoked if I even got the Kevin Smith that I've seen in the picture. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's a good one for you. Yeah, I love Kevin Smith. He's awesome. I had these. I had the whole Predator line. Did you? Yeah, I just I parted ways with most of my NECA figures. Oh, really? I, I, I kept my uh, I kept my Teenage too. Mutant Ninja Turtle ones. Yeah. Not the not the big ones, the but the ones. shrunken down ones. Yeah. yeah. Oh I still, man, I love I love NECA's big stuff. I mean, like these uh, <clears throat> the Pacific Rim ones. Mm -hmm. are awesome these are made by neck yeah the detail looks really nice and you know for a hundred bucks for that huge statue size figure yeah i used to have uh two of, of, of the other jaegers um but i had sold those but turn them out that's not very popular i guess <laughs> yeah, those ones are more recent ones that have come in and then actually <clears throat> All of this stuff under here is new stuff that came in like after, actually after hours yesterday. Um, so I'll probably have that ready by Monday maybe, hopefully. <laughs> you haven't gone through it at all? No, uh, I mean I went through it to, to um, you know, sort it and um, so I could basically buy them. But uh, I haven't priced them yet or gone too deep into it is overwhelming on another day i'm gonna have to come in here and dig through the wall completely <laughs> but for today i think we're just gonna get some mystery boxes so i, I want two okay they're numbered <clears throat> i don't know how many is like 40 or so left what's okay. 60s 60s there, some 90s, 80s. Do you have 93? I think it's it right there, right? Yeah, 93. Okay, on 93. And let's see. Huh, 26. 26? Yeah, that's how old I am. So take the birth year and the age. <laughs> there you go. All right, so we got our mystery boxes here. We're going to go ahead and start with 93. That's my birth year. See what we got. Another chase for the day. Oh, Hellboy we Chase. Got the Hellboy Chase. <laughs> this was really, this was an awesome pop. And 26. I think it's my age. Yeah, it's my age. <laughs> <laughs> you think? The tick. <laughs> I'm not sure who this is, but uh, that's an awesome Oh pop. man, never seen the tick? No, I've never seen it. It's, it's a funny show, up. for sure. Yeah, Thank you. <laughs> All right, so we just got out of Stranger Games. If you are a Funko collector, I highly recommend stopping by there if you're ever in the area. Um, here's the info for the store. This will give you the address. Go follow them on Facebook and Instagram. Very awesome. The owner is very knowledgeable. There's the name of the store right there, Stranger Games. Definitely go check them out. Highly recommend it. Uh, I bought three of those mystery boxes in total. Here's two that I don't really want, so I'm probably going to trade them in somewhere or sell them. Um, I do like the Chase Hellboy I got, so that was, I mean, it wasn't a total loss. But, yeah, guys, go check them out. Stranger Games in Oklahoma City, highly recommend. Now, we are going to go to Toy Base 10. All right, so now we're in Toy Base 10, and these two just got a new home. So they belong here, and I am swapping him for a different one. Now let's just browse around. See what we can find here. I always thought that Hulk looked cool. It's got all his Star Wars. A couple princesses. Ooh, there's Astro. Oh, 
Oh, if that box wasn't messed up. There's a good one. Swear camera. I like that one. This one's good too. Oh, the box is did it in. Silly. That one ain't too bad. They got Heimlich. Oh, I love this store. One of the loose wrestling figures you want. Plenty of spawn. A couple more wrestlers. I like that one. Alright, I see a few in here that I'm interested in, but I know for a fact there are shelves in other rooms and hallways that have pops on them, like this. So we're going to keep looking. Right there. Got some Godfather pops. Looks like a Barbie room. Oh, that old doorbell. So Richard from Silicon Valley and Supreme Leader Snoke. This is a cool one. That one's really cool. All it looks like all they're missing is Jack. Oh no. I could have swore I thought I'd seen Funko Pops down here somewhere. Apparently not. All your imports. For those of you who like, looks like imports in uh, some, I think, anime maybe? Oh yeah, those are definitely anime. Some pretty cool stuff in here. There we go. New Vision and Kylo Ren. New Vision might be a good one to get. Leonard. I wonder how much that is. Got a few up there. One down there. I don't know about this. Alright, let's go to that horror room. Oh the old knickers. Too bad I don't buy them anymore. I almost made an exception the other day for this one. <laughs> Looks like he's got the first uh, line of the Toonie Tears. Those are really the only ones I buy anymore. This guy seems popular. Spotting him everywhere. Another one from Evolve. Uh, it's really it in here. Looks like in here this is for my Transformer. Fans, another store I highly recommend you visit if you're in the Oklahoma City area. Toy Base 10. Steve is a lovely guy, super nice, always has great deals. Come check them out. Okay, so I think we're uh, working our way home. I found gas for $1.97 a gallon, so I'm filling up and then I'm gonna head home. Uh, Stopped at two amazing local stores. Got a Hot Topic in another town. That's where I got them chases. I, well, I technically got three chases in the wild today. So, uh, so it, was, it was a good day. Let's go ahead and get home now. All right, so we're finally back home from the toy hunt. Uh, I have a ton of pops to go over that we, we got during this hunt, so we're gonna go ahead and get into it. First, we're gonna start with these two Harley Quinns. We got the, uh, what is this one? The Harley Quinn, the Black Mask Club. I like this one. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see the movie, honestly, myself. I uh, got the Harley Quinn caution tape. Get that. Yeah, the Harley Quinn caution tape and the Black Mask Club. I really, I really do love Harley Quinn. I've said it, you know, plenty of times in my videos, but, uh, yeah. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna get any more from the, uh, the line. Just those two. 
Next, we have my boy Biggie. Had to get the Hot Topic exclusive ver uh, I'm sorry. Hot Topic exclusive version of him. Sound like a DJ scratching up my voice. Uh, this this one's a really nice pop. I don't have, of course, like the old original Biggie. Uh, I didn't get the common one. I'm just not interested in it. Kind of mainly focusing on like more exclusive stuff. Unless it's something that I really love. Like this right here. This Tupac. Had to get them. I do want the FYE exclusive. But the, uh, the closest FYE to me is... I want to say about 200 miles away. So... So at some point, I'm going to drive to that FYE. I'm just not promising y'all when. Next is the John Cena from, I believe it was last year's WrestleMania when he came out in the Doctor of Thugonomics gimmick. The, he's got the actual Yankees jersey on. That's also another reason why I bought this. I don't know if you can see this. Uh, you should be able to right here. But there's an actual MLB sticker on there. So we got MLB and WWE license sticker on there. That's a really cool pop. Also, if you follow the Instagram, you would have seen I posted a picture of that John Cena already. Um, okay, while we were in Oklahoma City, I stopped at Stranger Games. Uh, huge plug to that shop. I love that shop. It's a, it's a new favorite. Definitely going to have to go back at some point to dig through more pops and buy some more. But uh, I bought some mystery boxes there. And you've seen two on camera, so we'll go over those. Uh, let's see. I bought three. You've seen two on camera. So the two you've seen on camera is this guy, Tick. I'm not familiar with uh, what this ex exactly is. I don't, I'm don't. i guessing he's some type of hero. Uh, but I, I couldn't tell you where he, what he's from DC Marvel-wise. I'm guessing DC maybe. I'm not sure. If you know, let me know in the comments. And Valkyrie, I got her. Uh, I, I, I wasn't really a fan of her. Thor Ragnarok was okay, but I thought they tried too hard to be in funny, and it just got annoying to me. So I wasn't much of a fan, but this I'm a fan of. I do have the common uh, Hellboy already. Sorry, I already got him in a protector, so it's kind of messing up that. But I do have this one already, the common version, and this is the chase I got from one of them blind boxes, the mystery boxes, and he looks sweet. Honestly, didn't know it had a chase, but now I do. Next, uh, you see me in that hot topic, and I was getting some chases that I happened to find. And Happy Gilmore, I had to get because I, if you, you know, earlier I, I got the Chubbs chase, so I feel like I had to get this. Plus, it was three for twenty-seven, and two alone is like twenty twenty-five bucks before tax, so. Might as well get another one for like what a dollar. Got those. So okay, we're nine in. Uh, let's go with this one. I just kind of talked about it a little bit. I'm gonna get it out of the protector so there's not too much glare on it. But it is that Chubbs. I really, I really like this one. I, the movie was hilarious, and the fact that the what makes him a chase is his hand is smashed. <laughs> that makes it so much better. So I had to get this. I was I was so happy I found this. Did you did you hear that lady trying to tell me not to dig through the stuff because they're all the same? I knew what I was doing. I do it every time. She's the only only employee that's ever stopped me and said they're all the same. Got that. And I was most excited about this one. Um honestly I the day of that I was supposed to go to a pop swap in Lawton, Oklahoma, but I, I didn't go to that. There was only like two. I don't know, I'm, honestly, I'm not even sure, but there wasn't that many people that was going to show up for it. So I was sitting in front of a GameStop in in, a, in Shawnee, a different town in Oklahoma, and I got a notification from a Facebook group that this little cute guy was being released uh, that day. And, and, you know, I was like, okay, there's a hot topic right, right across the parking lot. So I literally left the hot... Well... The GameStop was closed, so I went and peeked in the door because all the pops is right there by the entrance. So I went and peeked in, seeing there was nothing worth waiting for. So I figured, okay, the chase, there's a, there's a unicorn being dropped that has a chase, and I could have a chance of getting it from there early. So I went and sat in the parking lot of the mall, went into the, went into the mall around 9.50-ish, 
sat in front of Hot Topic. I was the only person waiting, which was fine with me. I was on a mission. I walked in and boom, two chases. If y'all don't know if you've seen the other chase, the sticker was kind of peeling off. But uh, I got I got I got a great sticker placement and it's not peeling at all. I was gonna get both, but uh, they told me I couldn't. So I I got two chases. I got Chubbs and a unicorn. I'm looking forward to seeing this movie. Now that I have this, once I see the movie, that'll that'll tell me if I'm gonna keep this or not. But for now, I have it. Um, that is all. Yeah, that's all. Well, anyways, everybody, uh, be sure if you're in the Oklahoma City area, go check out Stranger Games. Go support, go support them. Uh, it's an awesome store, super friendly guy. I'm gonna plug him again just because I, I enjoyed it so much. Uh, I don't know how often they do mystery boxes, but. You know, it was, it was a cool mystery box. They had some really nice grails in there. Go follow them on Instagram. Uh, I'm going to copy their links and put it all down in the video description below. So be sure to check that out. Like the video if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell so you know when I post more stuff. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. Y'all have a good night.